Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about Elementor Pro. If you're a web designer or a blogger who is thinking should I buy Elementor Pro or not, here are my recommendations about it. Here we have the Elementor website and the prices especially because it's one of the main things to decide if you are on a low budget or if you have enough budget which version should I buy and actually on Elementor there's no difference only the numbers of, of, of websites where you can have the Elementor Pro version uh, since I have a quite a few number of websites I have these plus versions but if you are running yourself or your blog and you don't have the need for uh, more than one website then you can try the personal one but is it worth it or not well it will depend on how pro or what types of things you want to improve on your website honestly if you're a blogger you can stay for free and also you seen in another video I recommended Envato Elements plugin which adds more uh, templates to your website so you can stay on that free basis and avoid spending money here you can see the 50 pro widgets that you will can get plus another 300 pro templates but another thing to have in consideration if you have a woocommerce website then you will have to get the elemental pro version in order to keep improving and to add some features now i will show you the little bit of the back end of Elementor Pro. Okay, so here we have a normal web page on Elementor. We can go here to the widgets and we will see that they added some more. You decide to activate the install it, the Pro version. So just as a sample and showing here for the video, uh, there are some widgets like this post where you can add the, the certain amount of posts that you already have on your website uh, portfolio if you have also the number of, of pages here you can add sliders you can decide slide one slide two so animated headlines or the login if you have some user passwords let's go back here with the animated headline it can give you special effects on the headline and basically there are like some other types of widgets that you can find so this is the basic uh, widgets that add the uh, Elementor Pro. I will show you on my WooCommerce website the other widgets that you can add. Okay, so here I have a sample of the WooCommerce. It's one of the websites that I have. And here you can look the widgets that they add. Here you can have the product title, which is here product image, price, if you want to add to the cart, the product rating. So here what Elementor will do is like grab from the product descriptions and product information on the WordPress WooCommerce and it will automatically add the information. The only thing here is sometimes is that it's not really convenient the uh, fitting the size of the images so you must be sure that when you upload an image on Elementor it's like the size that you want or if it's in squares but otherwise you can also add like the same um, effects and any other type of things but here it could be really easy to do uh, WooCommerce website as well and improve a little bit the, the look for example of these legging stores that I have it's really easy to was really easy to create with Elementor Pro so 
I hope this helped you to understand a little bit more of Elementor Pro. If you have some questions, don't hesitate to contact me.